Welcome to Danger Digital. This is Dana. I am your resident chief storyteller at Danger Tales, and this is officially the fourth episode of our digital newsletter. And in today's newsletter, I'm kind of veering off just a little bit once more for a little bit of motivation this week. We are I think what two days away from NaNoWriMo and I was listening to a very interesting uh, podcast over this week with an author um, who took 12 years to write his first novel and I, there were some nuggets that I pulled away from that conversation that I would like to infuse into this edition. Um, and so if you're interested in, in hearing my take, <laughs> well then stick around, okay? Y'all know I don't script anything. I'm winging it, but I think this is something you're going to want to hear and to allow it to absorb into your being. So if you plan to stick around, I will see you after the introduction. If not, please don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and subscribe to my newsletter at dangertales.com. I will see you all on the inside and for everyone else, I'll see you on the in the next edition. On in, you know what I'm talking about. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Welcome into Danger Digital. This is Dana. I am a USA Today bestselling author. I'm also a developmental editor. I am a story nerd and I am a plotter. And like you, I am a writer. Even if, even if you have not given yourself permission to call yourself a writer, we are writers. I just don't see why <laughs> you would listen to a, a digital newsletter from a, a editor and a writer if there's not a part of you that is yearning to write a book or write a story. So today, um, I don't have any pressing announcements. I've already given the announcements. Of course, bookings will be a lot um, slimmer and fewer um, because of the holiday season coming up. If you really need to book something and you don't see it available on my calendar, you can email me by going to the contact page and sending me a message there. And we can see what we what what we can do, but I am very very limited at the end of the year, just for obvious reasons. So, to um, or um, there was also I was about to say, did we have any new releases? Um, uh, last week I forgot to announce, and I'm gonna try my best to remember to put the book in here. Um, and there was another Danger Tales. Um, author that had a new release and it's Dance with Darkness and it is available right now on Amazon. Let me tell you, you are, you know what, I can't say you're going to be very surprised to buy this book because who knows, I don't know what you read, but it is a story that I had a lot of fun working on um, because not just because of the subject matter, but because I just love when I see an author spreading his or her wings. That is just something that is always, um, I feel like it's um, a privilege to be able to see. And um, D. Iris Smith Collard is someone that I've worked with for many, many, many years. And I could just sing her praises. I think she's an amazing writer. And so it's just yeah it's a great one so i will make sure to put the link in the on the blog where you can also see any links i don't really have notes officially but usually a little you know summary so i will put that there so let's get to today's um topic and i did not take down the author's name so i'm going to bring it up 
I want to say his first name because I do not want to butcher his last name, but his name is Michael McClellan. That's where I want to stop. And he is author of The Sand Sea. Over the past, I don't know what the the spread of the story grip podcast there was three interviews that they've released so far with him and this is not my first time listening to um michael i'm gonna just call him by his first name just because i don't want to mess up his last name um hearing him speak about his journey to writing his first book. I am a member of the Story Grid Guild and I was fortunate enough to get a um, early copy of the book. I also have the print which is absolutely beautiful hardback 700 plus page um, epic fantasy novel and I honestly feel like with all of that said I find his story the most inspirational of all of that. You know, to write, I think he said the book is somewhere over 200,000 words. He's working on book two of his trilogy, I believe it is. But in this three um, installments of the interview, it sounds like it was one long interview that they chopped up. And he said something that I'm going to read it because I took it down. Um, he said something that stood out. When I first heard him talk, he talked about how he wrote his book over 12 years. And he did it by writing 500 words a day. And that just hit me. As someone who is busy, um, I'm fortunate that my children are grown, but that I have clients and I have responsibilities and I have a husband and I, you know how we can have this list of things. And then you will find that your passion and your love for writing can sometimes, as your responsibilities expand, it can go down the list. It even when that's not what we want. We don't want it to be the last thing on the list, but it just happens. Life happens. So when I heard him say that he accomplished this huge, huge um, project, 500 words at a time, it just hit me in the gut. And this is what he said in one of the episodes of the interview. He said, and I'm paraphrasing, but I try my best to get it as a direct quote. Most of us overestimate what we can do in a month, six months, or a year. But most of us underestimate what we can do in five years or ten years if we're literally working at something every single day. I'll say the last part again. Most of us underestimate what we can do in five years or 10 years if we're literally working at something every single day. Many people that I am interacting with, whether on Facebook or YouTube or even seeing content are talking about NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo, it's time. And there's this pressure to write 50,000 words in a month. Is it possible? Totally. Do people do it every single year? Do you have to be one of them? It depends. It depends on if that is what you want to do at this time. But let me just give you this little, 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 little suggestion, hint, secret, nudge, nugget of wisdom, however you want to classify it. You can set your target at any number you desire. It doesn't have to be 50,000 for you to jump in there. It, will you get the I won in a Rimo badge? No, but you can make your own I won badge. The point is to show up. So let me grab my calculator. Yes, I have it right beside my desk. 31 days times 500 words. What, how would you feel if you had 15,500 words on a story by the end of October? 
How would you feel if you did a thousand words a day and you had 31,000 and I'm saying 30. Let me make sure we have 30. Ah, it's 30. So let's do the calculation again. 15,000 words. If you had 15,000 words, 15,000 words is longer than a short story. It's a nice size novella. You could add a little bit more, but you can always edit it up. It could be a nice, fat, chunky outline or um, up, um, almost like a good skeleton of your story. It could be for the average person. Let's see. It could be six solid chapters of your next project. There's so much that can be done by you when you commit to doing the work every single day, especially if you are like many of us are in different phases of our life. We all get there where you're busy with work, with children, with spouses, with obligations, with things that are going on in your world that you just can't sit down and say, I'm writing, I, what is it? Uh, uh, 1700 words every day in order to meet that goal but but here's my challenge let's say I, you can't commit to 50,000 words can you commit to 15,000 on your story can you commit to 30,000 on your story and that's the thing about um, Michael. He, again, his book is called The Sand Sea. I will leave the link to that book as well that I just loved. It's this thing of like not giving up because life says you have to adult. <laughs> You know, we have to pay the bills. We have to do things. We can't, everyone just can't drop everything and say, I'm going to be a writer today. But because you're adulting does not mean you have to stop dreaming. It does not mean that you have to stop pursuing your passion. And it does not mean that you cannot write the novel that you truly want to write. So let me give you another perspective of that. There are 31 days in um, December. There are 30 days in November. And if you were to write 1,000 words a day, you would have the, the length of an average novel. 60,000, well, a little over 60,000 words. Two months. One of the biggest questions, and this has nothing to do with this, it's kind of on the total other end of the spectrum, but it still is relevant. One of the things that I get from people so, um, it's just frequently is, how do you write so fast? And the truth is, I'm not a fast writer. I'm not a fast writer. I just create a plan, I stick to my plan, and I work my plan until it is done, and I can say, it is finished but I'm just like everyone else my plate is full I have so many things that I want to do that I desire to do and the best thing I can do is make slow incremental uh, steps in progress every single day towards the things that I desire and that's what I'm challenging you to today this is not the challenge for NaNoWriMo even though that could be how you decide to pick up this mantle it's about you deciding what the goal is be specific and then how you plan to achieve that goal will it be 500 words a thousand are you only going to do it for the month of november every single day in november or are you going to do it in november and december every single day in november and december don't forget there are holidays there are children out of school for winter break, for holiday break. There are, are, I would believe, probably not as much family, many as many family gatherings, but there are still obligations. And so this challenge is not just to what you're going to do and how you're going to do it, but also will you commit to giving it everything that you have? To see exactly what you can do when you put your mind to it. 
there was a portion of the podcast that I found so um, also enlightening. There's a lot of times when you hear interviews about writers and authors, you hear it from the perspective of a woman and how she has children and she has the the obligations that I sometimes felt are a little bit uh, not as equally weighed between men and women and and that's just sometimes how it is so to hear him say um uh tim who was the, the tim grow who which is the host or the interviewer on the podcast asked you know about michael's wife and how does she feel about him writing every day for 500 words every day and he was saying how he wrote it um, through having children and um, on holidays and Christmas. He was sitting by a Christmas tree and writing on his laptop. And and it, he's and his answer was that he felt as though his wife truly understood and could stand behind him when she saw him writing his 500 words when it wasn't the most convenient time to do it and that those are my words because he didn't say it that way but that's what it said to me when you write and you stick to your commitment when it isn't convenient when it is uncomfortable when you have to explain oh I'm working on this book and you get whatever comes from people that love us but may say oh well just do it later or oh no you're writing another book Oh, are you in published bus? You know, all these things that come with saying, I'm a writer. I'm going to write this book. So in closing, what are you going to do? Are you going to join NaNoWriMo? Are you going to do the 50,000 words? Are you going to maybe pick a goal that's suitable for your life? in this time in your life and your obligations and if it's that last one I want you to set your goal but stretch it just a little bit don't just do it right at what exactly what you know you can do don't say well I can know write a hundred words well we can write a hundred words on our phone just sitting around shooting the breeze do something that's going to challenge you so that when you do it and you will if you really want to do it when you do it you can look back and say here's what I've done and you will be proud of yourself regardless of what comes of that manuscript that short story that novella those chapters because you are doing the work that is necessary to get closer to pursuing your goal of writing a book. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you have not done so already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my newsletter at dangertales.com. I look forward to receiving your questions, your feedback, any comments, and starting um, the next edition, I'll be going back to the questions that you all have submitted. And I hope that this has challenged you and encouraged you and poked at you just a little bit enough to have you questioning, can I really do it? Am I about to do this? If you are, let me know. I'd love to cheer you on and I'd love to hear what your goal is for the month of November or November and December if there's a way that um, you can be supported. I will talk with you all hopefully sooner than later. Take care and goodbye.